interested into it as part of this promotion for uh it was to promote this uh one local soccer club that was coming up not the union but Hi. either way it sounds like we've got some top eight action coming in and of course we do that's Herada, wait, we do. Wait, we do? is the uh, is the name versus oh, 17. Oh, I'm sorry, it's it's Heretta. That's my name. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, I mean, he's got yeah, he's got spelled Heretta down there. I, it, it, it might be it might be hereditary. Heretta. Who, okay. Who knows? We, we we might not really be sure about that. It's just you might want to get yourself tested for that. Here we go. We are. They decided to go I, I to Omega Battlefield. I was watching a lot of Battlefield. Battlefield this week. Okay, so I'm used to like hearing names like Harada and all that. So mm. either like way, you hear in an old. Uh, Old karate movie from the 70s with really, really, really bad dubbing. Anyway. Oh, the, you mean the best kind? Oh, wow. absol absolutely, dude. It's we are on Omega Battlefield. Very strange of a choice to make to decide to go to the, you know, one Smash stage of the other Smash stage, but not at all surprised that we find ourselves on a flat stage with no platforms. That definitely benefits the both of these characters pretty much to the letter. Neither of these characters really need platforms to really do their bread and butters, do their solid ish. Zelda really does well with no platforms, because now you got nowhere to really run away from that uh, that Phantom Knight. But the character like Rob, he's kind of got a jetpack. It's not going to matter as much at the end of the day, which I think is why Heretta decided to not ban this stage and elect for it anyway, as he's down the first stock. Yeah, and you kind of seeing how uh, Seventeen is playing this game, kind of realizing that the buttons are not going to be quite as good on your character as they will be on Heretta. So you do have to take advantage of the massive dairy levels of cheese that uh, Zelda can provide. At the very least, Heretta claiming that stock, reading the uh, the rollout, and down smashing to punish. But Heretta. Is having a hard time staying on stage and just has absolutely no jump. And 17 all of a sudden takes Heretta down to the final stock. Uh, pretty much textbook stuff what we're seeing here from the Zelda. This was the game plan. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, you said he had a hard time staying on uh, uh, staying on stage. And right as you said that, he uh, kind of went off the entire damn level. So that's unfortunate for Heretta there. And I got to say, 17 is up in stocks right now. Particularly because I really like his mix-ups out of the mash of Rob's down throw. The first time he got that on that earlier stock before he was able to secure her uh, 17th first stock, he didn't mash at all. He was at like 120 and he chose not to mash at all, which baited Heretta into doing just a short hop up air like you might see there. And there you go, doing it again. No mash at all. He expects there to be an instant mash out of that to, because, you know, you theorized, you figure, oh, I want this player to get out of this as soon as possible. And that's exactly what 17 has in mind in his game plan right there, knowing that Heretta is going to bait an option for specifically that and so he decides to just do absolutely nothing, much like Luigi, and that's how he's winning. And it's a smart move, because, I mean, how many times have we seen people try to mash out of that as quickly as possible, only to just be in the death throes of that up air? And it's uh, one of those things that 17 is certainly cognizant of, and one of the things that Heretta is going to be tested on in terms of game knowledge. This is doable at 71%, but you can't just rely on the usual bread and butters. You're dealing with a particularly mm. tricky Zelda going real deep for the side B. Jin's fire finding the mark. And Heretta does make it back to the stage, but not without a price. And there is no passing this uh, this particular passageway. Essentially, 17 my says, you shall not pass. Strikes the staff down, and Heretta gets sent to the depths off of the side, I should say. But either way, you know what? A stock is a stock. You know, I did just watch Onward. So you mm. coming out here saying you shall not pass, it's kind of it's kind of tingling me in uh in all the um all the right places, but uh in terms of the uh Smash video You could have phrased that, that any other way. I chose to. Okay. I chose to, yeah. Uh in terms Thanks. of this video game though, I love the ending sequence right there. That coverage from 17 you know, before he was getting some pretty good mix-ups out of that Rob down throw to ensure his stock, like that's a matchup specific thing, but right there, what we saw at the very end that forward smash that was just classic bread and butter Zelda stuff right there. I'm gonna put the Phantom Knight right here. It's gonna cover this hitbox by the ledge. Where's the other spot he can go? Oh, it's the one where he, if he presses the shoulder button, he goes. I'm gonna put another giant hitbox out right there. Two options covered in one. Bing, bang, bada boom, good to go, zoom. Zelda does not look like Kirsten Stewart in this game. Not anymore. It was in not the last anymore. one okay, that yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah, no, that's a, that is a good, uh, that's a good caveat to throw in there. But what I was noticing really is just, uh, Heretta. It really just came down to Heretta not being able to adapt his offense quickly enough to the situation, but also 17 having at least dealt. 17 has likely dealt with enough 
Wi-Fi Rob to know to have a general idea of what Hereta wants to do in terms of recovery. Now, in the vacuum, best recovery in the game, you have a jetpack that lasts seemingly forever as we go to PS2 for uh, for the second game of this best of three clip. But I'm not really seeing uh, really much variance in how Hereta moves. It seems like a very textbook Rob and a very well practiced Rob knows how to get the bread, uh, knows how to get the BNBs out, but. I'm not really seeing much beyond that, and you're going to need something beyond that, especially in a region that is as well-practiced with Rob as this one. Absolutely, my friend. And right now, 17, <clears throat> 17 is just taking huge advantage of the fact that Rob is a very big body. A lot of people love to complain about Rob. I don't blame him. He's one of the best characters in the game. One of the best, if not the best, on Wi-Fi. There is some... There is some debate on that. Like you said, amazing recovery as well. But the thing is, he is such a big lad. And the cat, then right there, you got 17 catching him on the ledge, hanging a little bit too long at 156. That's going to be the first stock. But the point is, 17 is taking such a good job taking advantage of the fact that Rob is a big body right now in terms of putting two hitboxes out in the same place. It's what Zelda does in general as a good bread and butter. But for Rob specifically, unless he's really doing a good job playing the anti-night game, you know, floating around in the air, falling with those nares to try to just bait them out and to get a good punish, not like the actual, you know, classic Rob neutral that's not really working out for Hereta so far against 17. Yeah. That is where, that is what's causing Hereta to get caught so easily. Rob is a very, very thick lad. Avoiding Zelda stuff takes a level of discipline and patience that you do need to watch one of those bad 70s uh, karate movie dubs to really acquire, as that back air is going to take the stock. But when you're a bigger body, that just makes it so much harder. And what I'm noticing is that, uh, yeah, Hereta is having a hard time uh, establishing neutral. I think part of that is because, really, 17 knows the win condition, generally speaking, against Rob, is to neutralize Gyro. You have the perfect tool with which to do that, that, I don't know if it is frame one, but I'm going to say oh. that it is. The, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> you almost had that, uh, that early kill there, but... Uh, at 69%, that you don't, you generally do not see Rob's dying at that percentage. That would have been shocking, I'll admit. But uh, I, w I would have been more inclined to think that uh, something else is needed to set up past the gyro because you're not getting much of anything. That's the second time you got red on your getup for that uh, with that F smash. Uh, if you're a Heretta, you need to start thinking of a more defensive game. But 17. Seems to uh, seems to have it figured out right now. So, Heretta's going to have to change the questions if Seventeen has the answers. Mm -hmm. Really knowing those full hops, knowing how to mix yourself up out of disadvantage. That is the name of the game against a character like Zelda, my friend. I could sit here all day and talk about how Rob is a big body. It's hard for him to do that. But Rob still has all the tools necessary to get that done. He's got that forward air that can space Zelda out at close range. He's got a jetpack which in itself is very, very good for avoiding the night. One thing a lot of characters with multiple jumps, not that Rob is that, but what uh, a lot of characters with multiple jumps like to do whenever Zelda tries to just win neutral with her down B win neutral button is to use those multiple jumps to fly above the stage, wait until she has to release out the night, fall with an aerial, and that's how they get their punish. If there's any character in mm. this game that can do that, it that is, is Robert the Robot, but unfortunately for Hereta, we are never going to see that chance unless he potentially gets that run back later on in the tournament. That's going to be 17 with a pretty clean 2-0 over, uh, over Hereta there, which is, uh, turns out it is, in fact, hereditary. And it's, uh, he tries his hardest, man. He tries his hardest to make up with what he's got. But, you know, some people, uh, they got quirks. Shoutouts to my hero. Some people just have superior anime. genes for Smash or whatever that meme was from a couple months ago. Uh, so no, but I, I will say this: it's not even that Hereta played poorly. I don't think I don't think they did at all, quite no. frankly. No. But it was really just Seventeen was able to neutralize everything to the point where it looked very clean. Uh, the Rob game plan was just kind of thrown out the window, and Hereta didn't really have an answer to what 17 was throwing out. The options, I mean, I do kind of wonder what you can do in that situation as Rob. Obviously you have really good buttons. You have a forward air that can just smack people around. Obviously you have the up air with which you get kills, but you're not getting it for free. Uh, the down air for ledge trapping. You have obviously that gigantic neutral air, which on the right stage takes up what? 25% of the surface area or something like that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something ridiculous, but you're not, you do have options. Obviously that down tilt, which is just, I, the, the less I talk about that, the less angry I will get. But nevertheless, you do have 
I wouldn't say your pick of the options because obviously you have the means with which to neutralize that too, but I feel like a projectile reliant Rob isn't necessarily optimal considering mm -hmm. what you do have just with the A button alone. Zelda is a noob.